For me, my music is me now. And so, b b b that's complicated then. You need to sort of then ask who, who is Mandy's in order to understand. I, I, I started when I was, I started playing music when I was six, seven, you know. I started playing classical music. I was in choral choirs for all my young life. Um, towards the end of high school, I was, I started playing jazz, you know. And because jazz for me um, looked like me. If, if you understand what I mean. Um, I, I was playing in marimba bands, you know, in the, in the townships, in the cultural groups. I was, that, 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 that was me. Our, so, so for me, playing in an orchestra today and playing in a marimba band tomorrow and singing in the choir today and playing in a jazz band, all of these things are one, you know. I come from a Methodist church, you know. Uh, um, 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 I come from a, a family just that, that sings. You know, just, just music is just a thing in my house. It's, it's, it really isn't special. You should come to my house. Um, I, in my house, I'm, I'm not even the lead singer. No, 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 no. In my house, I'm the backing there, 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 there at the back. You know, my cousin is the lead singer. You know, and so those, all of those things for me culminate in my music. I have a very wide, wide palette. I listen to a lot of music, you know. Um, and, and I'm only, because I'm, I, I always listen to music sometimes for learning purposes, you know. I work in solitude. You know, I work by myself. I, I have a, there's a small dingy practice room that I always go into and practice and write music outside of these things that I'm doing now, you know. I'm the type of person who, a lot of things don't happen for me, you know. I'm not a person who's going to, get things you know everything that I have is things that I've worked for you know and and I and I always like to simplify my life in music you know it's just I work as hard as I can um, you know when I get opportunities I make the most of it you know and so I never see myself in the bigger scheme of music you know um, and maybe that's that that's that's something that's wrong about me you know but but for me it's uh, and so I, I, I never dream that one day when I, uh, you know, because I believe that all of these th those things, if they are due to me, music will give them to me. You know? So I don't ask for special favors. I don't ask for, or I don't, because for me, I have completely surrendered myself to music, you know. A lot, a lot of people might not understand it, but it is truth for me. You know, for me, music is bigger than anything that I do. You know, that that that, that I do. So, so, and music dictates. You know, the shape of this album was not dictated by us. It was dictated by the music. You know, the people who played. If I would tell you stories of how I got together with the people who played in the album, you would realize that it was not dictated by me necessarily. You know, it was dictated by music. And so all of these things that will happen in the future, you know, are things that are, di are, are dictated by music. All I, I need to do is to stay working, you know, stay uh, studying, you know, stay um, um, inspired, you know, and, 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 and all, you know, this last year, this year has shown that, you know, has shown, you know, I remember I remember back in the day, you know, you know, we, we had a band. I mean, I was always playing in band. And people were like, send your stuff to, to these people. Send your stuff to these people. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. They'll come. You know? And for people who don't understand, they'll think, yeah, it's arrogant. No. Because for me, I want I want to, you see, for instance, now me playing in, at the Cape Town Jazz feels right. It feels like the right time. That's why I'm not too nervous, too panicked, too what not, you know, because for me, it feels like the right time, you know, and so every other thing that will happen will happen at the right time. I, I, I believe it, you know, um, and, 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 and still bigger things will happen, you know, and things that will blow my mind because the things that have happened now have, have completely blown my mind, you know, and, 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 and that's that because the, 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 the thing that we need to teach, especially young musicians, 
is work. Forget about the lights. You know, forget it's not about the lights because at the end of the day, you are judged by the people, you know, in terms of what you do on that stage. So you can wear a blingy suit that comes from Mars and da 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 da, but if your product is not good, people will not resonate. So work on your product, work on yourself. You know, people are going back to themselves musically, you know, and South Africans um, are demanding of that, you know. Um, you know, these guys are demanding for, of us to, to sing in our languages, for instance, you know. We, we, I remember when I started writing in this course, I was a joke, you know, because I was at college, you know, and I was writing this course, and I was a joke. And people were like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, no guys, me, I want to speak this thing, you know. I had a problem, I had a big problem at, at, at um, at some point, you know, with, 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 with even fellow musicians. You know, musicians are very, um, the, 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 the beautiful thing about them is that they are not, they don't think parallel, you know, they, they have alternate things, you know, they have, they believe in alternate universes and all those things. And, 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 I, and I needed to be strong, you know, I needed to say, guys, me, I believe in this me. But that doesn't mean that you guys have to believe in it, you know, even in my band, you know, I don't, force my belief but 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 i tell them my belief because because I, I i owe them that much and they owe me you know to say you you know you, do, you don't represent us and i said i don't represent you guys i represent myself because um um spirituality number one is not a christian thing to start with spirituality is an african thing to start, you know because for me, that's, that's the basis of my spirituality. The reason why I could, I could relate, or, or the reason why, you know, Kosa people, for instance, let's say, you know, in the Eastern Cape, took in the missionary teachings was because they believed in spirituality. You know, and so it was easy to just go, you know, you believe in this, but here's an alternate, you know. And, and so for me, it, there's that, the, the, the spirituality, starts with me knowing that I come from a people. I'm here because I was given birth by a people who were given birth by a people who were given, given birth, birth by a people, you see. So for instance, I call so when I call myself of my clan name, I am acknowledging a lineage, you know, a, a, a lineage, you know, a people who have given me life. You see, and, and, and so therefore, and also, it's, it, and, and, the, and then it takes it to me understanding that it is not possible for me to do all of this by myself, you know, by my own knowledge, with my own, my knowledge, for instance, if, if you want to be practical about it, I don't have music. How can someone who looks like me, who is like me, have music? Music is sacred, you know, and for me to, to sit wherever I sit and write a song, that's sacred. And for that song to resonate to another person, where the other person feels the other song, that's not me. How, how, how can I go out and claim that? You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm but a conduit. You know, that's all I do. All I do is I try and, um, when I'm practicing or reading or listening to music or, 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 or just being, you know, living life, all I'm trying to do is to get myself ready, you know, to be a conduit so that when, 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 when that gift of a song comes, I'm ready to receive it so that I can channel it out, you know. I, I, I was floored in one gig, you know. I started with a song and people took up on it and they just sang it, you know, so much. And I, and I sat down. In the stage, I sat down, you know, and, and the, the thought, this thought I'm talking about was going through my mind. That how, how, how then do I say, I don't know these people, I don't, I, I didn't know, I don't know anything about them, you know. And when I was writing the song, I was not thinking about them, I wasn't even thinking about myself. But now they resonate, some cry, some happy, some, you know, and all these things, and I think I own that. <laughs> nah, yeah. ah, guys, come on. For me, whenever I have an opportunity of going on stage, I regard that as a 
blessing and, and, and as an honor. So when I get a, 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 an opportunity to stand in front of people and share my art, it is literally a blessing and an honor. So I use it, I maximize it because I don't know when the next one is coming, you know, because the next one is not guaranteed. Ah, so